Hello everybody, Pete Olson here. Today I wanted to tell you about a beautiful machine called a Singer 1591. The Singer 15 was made from the 1800s all the way up until I'd say the 1950s, maybe even longer. This one right here is made in 1951. You can tell that by its special badge here, which says a, a century of sewing service, 1851 to 1951. Has a centennial badge for the 100 year anniversary. This one is in great shape, a little wear here, but not much. This is what a machine looks like after I go through and recondition it and make it look all nice and wonderful. It has a very unique cabinet. Take a look at this. It has a drawer that opens here and it has area to hold your spools of thread. And look at this. This whole part opens up. Take a look at that. It has drawers. See that down there? It has a drawer here. And it has a neat shelf up in there and even a place to grab your oil bottle. It doesn't have an oil bottle with it, but that's where you can set one of the older Singer oil bottles. And all that tucks neatly behind there. It all folds up into a desk, which I think this is just a beautiful early 50s kind of art deco like desk. Now to operate this machine with this cabinet, it's a little different. Some cabinets are knee pedal. This one is a foot pedal cabinet. And you see a little nub right there? Watch this, I'll take my foot and it pops it out like that. That slides in like that when you don't need it and when you do want it, it just comes right out like that. I've gone and rewired everything down into there. Take a listen to that. Beautiful stitch quality, a wonderful straight stitch machine. That's all it does. Straight stitch forward and backward. It reverses, of course. Take a look at the hook system in there. That uses class 15 bobbins, which many, many machines are based off this machine right here. Many machines. Bernina's. And many, many other brands. A lot of singers, a lot of copies. This is one of the most copied machines um, out there. And there's still probably copies of this machine being made. It was made from the 1800s all the way through the 50s, maybe even longer. But just a great solid sewing machine. Has a very unique system here. You can, I'll move it slow so you can just see how that works pops up right there. A lot of machines are out here. I like how that one's just right out front like that. Let me tilt it back. So you can see back here, there's the hook mechanism. All these parts all cleaned up. This opens up here. There you can see that oil bottle holder again in the shelf unit. There's that brand new cord all mounted in there going down that way. And unique woods that they used in this. Just a very neat, neat machine. Um, these also drop their feed dogs just by doing this. You loosen that up and the feed dogs will drop or go forward, whatever you choose. You tighten it back up so it's back in feed dog use. That's how you drop the feed dogs on this. Drop it back down. And this one's in beautiful shape. 
It's got some wear right here, but it's in great shape. Look at the chrome plating all the way around on this machine. These use what's called a potted motor, which means there is no belt system to it. You never have to change the belts on this. This motor powers here. It's a gear drive motor that goes through here and there's a gear on the wheel. So it's all direct drive with that potted motor. And this one, I decided to make the pedal cord comes off here and this way, if someone needed to have it serviced, you tilt the machine back, you take the two screws out and you just bring it to your service center, um, which is me if I'm going to work on it, because I definitely specialize in these. But I did this so a person could easily take it out without having to take the whole cabinet. Just have to use a different cord when a service person works on it. Just a beautiful machine all the way around that I wanted to share with you today. I love reconditioning these old machines. Let's take a look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Singer 1591 Centennial. You don't see too many in this kind of wonderful condition, but this one is. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you later and happy sewing. Bye-bye.